The majority of the time when it comes to easter eggs, we typically find them in video games. But sometimes our favourite game companies such as the likes of Nintendo, Sony and Microsoft have hidden secrets within their consoles. And today we're going to check out over 20 different easter eggs across a broad range of systems and secrets which you may have never seen before. First up, it's the Sega Dreamcast and one of my favourite consoles of all time. A console I covered quite a bit during my early days on YouTube and I thought I knew a little bit about it. Well, apparently not, as recently I discovered that the home screen has a hidden alternative menu. You see, if you play Sonic Team's Puyo Pop Fever and head into the Dreamcast main menu screen setting and then hit save the memory card icon, then return to the Dreamcast home menu and hit start on the controller, you'll now actually be able to take control of the camera and view all all those classic menus and icons from all sorts of different perspectives. Well that's not the only thing I didn't know about, as if you happen to take apart the Dreamcast visual memory unit and check out the chip on the board, then you will discover it was amusingly named a potato chip. And that's not the first time secrets have been discovered on computer chips, as over the years engineers of processors have hidden microscopic easter eggs in the form of chip art that are unseeable to the naked eye and require powerful microscopes in order to see them. And this dolphin was found on the Nintendo GameCube's graphics chip, which was rather fitting considering the GameCube's codename was Dolphin. Ok moving on to the secrets of the Nintendo DS range now, and first of all we're starting off with the secret games you could play on the Nintendo 3DS. As for anyone who transferred music onto an SD card and pops it into their 3DS then played the track using the sound option, would be greeted with a secret blue cord that allowed you to select between multiple options, two of which included this secret playing game and a secret game of Game & Watch Football. And on top of that, the new Nintendo 3DS also contained a secret minigame, as by visiting the web browser and tapping out the first few notes of the Super Mario Bros theme tune on the bottom screen, would allow you to play this game of Breakout. While the first Nintendo DS had a much smaller easter egg, but it came on a more touching and personal level, as for those who entered the Picto chat room on their birthday would be greeted with this message. And if you're after more birthday celebrations, then look no further than this easter egg that appears on the home screen on the Nintendo Wii U. Next up we're going to take a look at several secrets on the PlayStation 2, and the first is in regards to the boot up screen which normally goes like this. But did you know and realise that if you have a memory card inserted that will actually affect the start up screen, as now various towers made up of blocks and of different heights will appear. And why? Well, it's these blocks that reference games you have launched on the console and the respective number of times you have done so with the memory card that is inserted. And the second easter egg is also to do with the memory cards, as if you happen to browse your save data you will already know that each game is represented with its own game icon, and some are rather boring and just simply spin around while you highlight them. However what you might not know is that some game icons actually contain mini secrets and will react to you depending on your actions. Take the lady icon from Devil May Cry 3 for example, as if you happen to opt for the copy option she will become excited and very happy, though opt for the delete option and she will begin to cry. Mm. 
Plus, the icons may even change depending on how far you have progressed through a particular game. Onwards now to Microsoft's Xbox consoles and a whole bunch of cool easter eggs that have been discovered over the years and three of them rest between the Xbox main menus. And the first is in regards to the console's creepy and alien-like background audio. which turns out to be audio from NASA space transmissions during the Apollo days and has been slightly tweaked. If you pop in an audio CD and press copy, then hit select all followed by copy again, you'll be able to give the soundtrack an entirely new name, to which you should enter in the following title, which will prompt the Xbox to reveal the secret credits and special messages of thanks to the Xbox team, game developers and even us gamers who play their games. While a third Xbox dashboard easter egg was only revealed last year thanks to one of the original team members, where if you just copy one audio track and name it Kevin! Spelling it with 26 Y's and an exclamation mark at the end, you can then view the Xbox dashboard members via the system info menu. So what's next? Well, did you know that your original Xbox and Xbox 360 consoles actually have their own personal names, which you can find out by playing Halo Combat Evolved or Mech Assault and by entering the multiplayer section. For example, my black Xbox is called Dopey, the crystal Xbox is called Jack, the matte black Xbox 360 is named Dasher, while the shiny Xbox 360 is named Penguin. Inside the awesome Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, you can discover Master Chief, and he was also found in several places on the Xbox One S. Printed on the underneath of the Xbox Series X, you can find the words, Hello from Seattle, which also appeared on the inside of the Xbox One controller's battery compartment. And Here's some more controller easter eggs, as upon the box of the 20th anniversary Xbox controller, you can find a Duke controller hidden in the background by using a black light. The micro texture on the PS5 controller is made up of thousands upon thousands of tiny PlayStation symbols and on the inside of the Nintendo Switch Pro controller you can discover a secret message that reads thanks to all game fans by pushing down on the right analog stick. But the first Nintendo Switch easter egg was discovered while handling the console in handheld mode. You see normally when you press a button three times in succession to unlock the home screen the sound produced is this. But by utilising either ZR, ZL or by pressing in on the left or right analogue sticks, the following four sounds can be used instead. While our final easter eggs today, and my favourites, are all located on Nintendo's GameCube, as normally when you start up the console, the intro will do this. But if you happen to hold down Z on the controller when you turn on the console, then this intro will play instead. Or how about trying with four controllers? And lastly, let's head to the main menu and focus on the background sounds, which if you record for about 1 minute and 54 seconds and then speed the track up until it's just 6, then you will end up with Nintendo's Famicom Disk System Intro.